Hello, my name is Ryan Gardner, and I'm the Senior Director of Client Services here at Highgrove. I'm here to talk to you today about rejuvenational pruning. Rejuvenational pruning is a uh, type of pruning we do this time of year to significantly reduce the size of plant material that may have become overgrown. What I'm talking about is, let me show you. So this, this type of shrub right here is well overgrown, causing some uh, liability and safety concerns about people walking around the corners, maybe not being able to see. If it was in the parking lot area, it may become an obstruction for cars and visibility issues. Um, so let me show you inside the shrub. Inside the shrub, there's no foliage inside that shrub whatsoever. So meaning there's no air and light circulation inside the shrub. All the foliage on the outside canopy here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna cut the shrub down to about this level. And what it's gonna do is the shrub is gonna revitalize itself. When the weather turns warmer, it's gonna merge new buds and new, new green foliage to be like a brand new shrub again. And when I say it's the most cost effective way of revitalizing your property, what I mean by that is we can do this for far less of a cost than installing a brand new landscape and tearing all the old stuff out. Okay, so you can see now, this was a pretty dramatic pruning. Uh, for demonstration purposes, we've only done a uh, few of the shrubs so far, and we're gonna continue this uh, hedge after we're done here. But you can see that there is zero foliage left on this plant now. You'll see in a few weeks, uh, some green little buds starting to pop up in all the cuts. And after that, six to eight weeks later, they're gonna start forming new little stems. And eight to 10 weeks after that, this will be fully grown with new green growth again. So, and you can see also that we've taken all the side um, growth off of this, not just the top, you got to take the sides as well. The reason we do that is because once the, the plant uh, starts putting its energy towards reproducing its, its, its leaves and foliage, you have to make sure that you take all the sides and everything off because otherwise the energy is still going to the green part of the plant. So if you remove all the green part of the plant, the energy is concentrated on reforming the new growth on the, on the stems of the plant. So you can see what I was saying earlier about how this is a more really cost-effective way of revitalizing your property. There's no more safety concerns here. There's no more issues of ladies playing tennis here, walking around the corners uh, and, and being worried about anybody standing around, these, around the corner here. Same thing at parking lot islands. If this was in a parking lot, visibility of people sitting in smaller cars, those sorts of things. Uh, so this is a great way to, um, to take care of safety and liability concerns in your properties as well. You can also see the amount of debris uh, that we have pulled from this. There's an extreme amount of debris that comes from this. You can imagine as we, we continue this hedge, uh, how much debris we're gonna pull from here. So we definitely have to take that into account uh, as well as the landscape contractor. Uh, the last thing I want to, want to point out is once we do this and when we're done with the rejuvenational pruning, we always want to do a nice fresh layer of pine straw after. Uh, the reason that's important is because once you're done, we expose a lot of bare ground trash. There's a lot of water bottles and tennis balls and stuff we can see in here. Um, there's a lot of bare area that's been exposed. We're going to come through with a fresh layer of pine straw to dress this up and make it look nice and new again. All right, well, that explains uh, rejuvenational pruning. I hope uh, everybody learned a little something today and uh, hope everybody has a great day. Thank you.